Hey everybody, yeah, so um, there's a thing about this uh, this episode of Theranum Games. I um, I couldn't think of a quirky intro, so yeah, I, I kind of got nothing for this one. <laughs> yeah, you might not have anything funny, but I sure do. Why did the chicken cross the road? Would you be quiet, man? You contribute nothing to this channel! Ah! It's that time again! Ah. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Theranum Games! It is that game series where I go ahead and find Theranum Games and play them all within the confinements of this singular video. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know exactly what to do. Game number one time. This first game is called Springtrap Comes Home. We never play FNAF games in this three random game series, so I thought, why not? I'm also on the fence about maybe making like a three random FNAF games entirely different separate series. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Let's go ahead and play this game. I have no idea. Is that Springtrap coming up my stuff? Oh. Where are you, Michael? I definitely, I ain't in bed. I ain't in bed, what are you talking about? Return, Return it to them. Who scribbled this on my wall, dude? Why did I do this when mom and dad see the vandalism that I did? Lights out, man. Lights out. What about Springtrap is my dad? And now he's coming to finally take care of me. Okay, this is kind of scary. Can we go in here? Whoa, okay, I can open doors on my face. Very smart. I don't know how I explain this, but when I walk, I kind of keep walking. Like, check this out. I stop my hands. I keep going. It's like I've got momentum. Like walking, they're just like... Okay, now I'm stopped. I'm convinced I have wheels for feet, and if so, that's actually amazing, though. Like, I've just got my roller skates on all the time. Let's actually do this thing, so return it to them. What do you mean, huh? Hello? Mr. Sprint? What the freak? Why do I have animatronics in my house? I- I'm actually scared. Wait, what's going on? Return it to them? What do you want, huh? What the freak do you want? You don't want to jump scare me? Okay, well, I like that. Thanks for that one. I appreciate that one, sir. Is it, like, elements of these animatronics? What are you missing? Let me check. Got the ears, got the face, um... I, I think they're just, uh, I think they're just tripping, to be honest, guys. There ain't nothing I gotta return. What is it with spaghetti and meatballs? Every single household in this, like, Unity engine. They're, they're eating spaghetti and meatballs, drinking the fat-free milk? Okay. He's literally, that's the definition of lollygagging. For, <laughs> what the? Yo, Springtrap's skipping around my house. Hey, hey, bro, how you doing? Whoa, whoa, hey! Springtrap, he came home. He came to my house. What's going on? What am I looking for? I'm upstairs, bro. I'm upstairs. Let's go. He's literally following me, guys. I'm gonna did go this way. again, Michael. What the frick? Did it again. What? What do you do again? Huh? Are you singing Britney Spears lyrics? What is happening, bro? What is... Dude, what is going on? I got a Springtrap in my house. Why don't I just go outside? He'll never know. Am I going this way? Oh, oh my gosh. Foxy's there. He's chilling. All right. What am I doing in this game? I... Yo, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I have no idea. Bathroom break. Do I need a poo poo? Um, Foxy's... We return it to them, right? Like this. Here, Foxy, here you go, bro. Here you go. Yay, let's, let's go. Can you defend me now? So it's like, we gotta search around this house, find what we need, return it to them. If we do this, what do we get? Can we, like, take down Springtrap or something? Nothing in there. What, is he upstairs? What's going on? He's literally skipping upstairs, bro. Open these doors. Let's, we, we gotta get this done. We, we have to figure this, man. There must be other stuff. Does he want the bleach? Yo, they could be anywhere. Oh, there he is. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Close these doors. No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. We go this way here. Wait, oh my gosh, he opens doors. Hey, bro, can you not? Can you not? What the freak is going on? In here. Oh my gosh, Chica, hey, how you doing? Can I hide? 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 If he comes in, I'm dead. Chica, you gotta help me. Chica, you gotta help me. I'm in a dead end right now. I mean, I'm still not dead, so that's kind of sick, though. You want the cupcake? Okay, we gotta find... They could be in anything. Dude, these might, like, not even have any, uh, like, weight towards what we gotta do. Like, they just hide everything anywhere, literally. Uh... Like, I'm not seeing it. I'm not gonna lie. Chica, I don't know what your cupcake is. Like, any hints where you lost it? Any at all? I feel bad for the neighbors, like, you know, looking in the child's bedroom. They see that? Are you serious? That's terrifying. That's seriously terrifying. Maybe it's in, like, the drawers down here, though? Nope. Nope. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. Ask Claire, Clam, to return my favorite shot. I need it soon. Um, no. Ask them to return Chica's favorite toy. She needs it soon. Okay, we gotta go back out. We gotta, we gotta check literally everything, though. It's kind of interesting. It's an interesting little game. He's, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Guys, I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I think I, uh, I think it's lights out. Girl power, please help me. Springtrap, he doesn't like this room. Why not? Why doesn't he like this? Maybe he's got the phobia of Chica. I'm gonna leave again. Yo, he's, he's outside. He's right there. Look, dude, he's coming, he's coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go behind Chica. I think I'm dead now. Oh, he does like this. I'm dead! I'm dead! Oh! Oh! 
Well then. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. This is, uh, it's, it's kind of fun, actually. I like this as a concept. It's not what I expected, but I'm kind of glad about that now. This is, uh, this is actually kind of cool. I start by checking my room, see if there's anything in there. Not what I'm seeing. Do the items randomize, or are they always, like, in the same locations? That also would help out a lot. Checking these. Don't see anything. Cheeky, you want the denim jeans? No, no, okay. okay check in here. There's nothing. Don't see anything. I'm, like, scooping around the top floor first, guys. I'm thinking, like, sweep this place, and then we go elsewhere. There is there is so many cabinets we have to open, though. They could be anywhere in any of these. I hate that. That's kind of intimidating, actually. So far, it's so good. Like, uh, as in, like, I'm not finding nothing. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Lots of empty cabinets in my house. Common problem with people in these Unity games. They're, like, they always have, like, a house with so much storage, endless cupboards, and then they just don't need them. Like, guys, we need to limit how much we're doing. I did it again, <laughs> Michael. What? What? I Whoa. did it again. What have you done? What did you... Dude, what the freak did I do? There is a door here. Okay, let's go in this door. Oh, Golden Freddy, how, how lovely to see you in my parents' bedroom at the foot of their bed. Why is he there? And where is he? He sounds like he's close, man. Is he? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Not finding anything at all. What would Golden Freddy even want? Like, what's he missing? A foot? A hand? Something like that? Nope, nothing there. There is nothing there. What are you missing, bro? You look fine. Why are you here? I think I'm dead, guys. I think he's in here. Yeah. Oh, he came and he left. That's good. That's good. You remember well, me? I would love to. Um, I just don't know what you need. That's the, that's the actual problem here. I don't know what you need. Oh, 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 there's a basement. He emerged from it. Yep, he's on me. Okay, well, we know that now. We know about a basement. Didn't think there was a basement before, so I, I kind of want to swing down there and see what's popping off, eh? Is there a party down there, hey, bud? You just keep going down there. Let's take a look. We could really do with some lights on in this place, so that would uh, that would be amazing if we could get that. Oh, hey, sir. So, so you need your top hat, right? You need your top hat. Wherever the heck it may be, it's so... Bro, what, why is the power out? We could be doing with, like, flipping lights on and stuff to make our life a little bit more easier, but we really want to play this on hard mode. I don't know if, uh, like, for example, his hat has to be down here, or uh, if it's all randomized, like, I, I don't know. I see nothing. I mean, I know Freddy's here now. That's great. Are you coming down or not? Because I need to get up there. I'm going to check. He's close, guys. He's definitely close. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, let's see if we can find Foxy's hook. Is it in the same spot as last time? It is. That means that the item locations aren't randomizing, I don't think. So that leaves the question, where is everything else? Unless we have to do, like, his. So that means that we've done his uh, his objective first. Now we got to find, like, Whoa! Foxy hook first. Now maybe a new item has spawned that we can find. Maybe before we won't be able to find it. Does that make sense? Do you know what I'm trying to say, guys? Maybe maybe he's down there. Maybe this dude is just vibing down here. I don't think so, actually. That's good. I like that. He's coming downstairs, right? It, I think he's debating it. He's above me at the moment. Okay, that's grand. That is incredible. These other items, they must be either incredibly well hidden or uh, I'm, I'm just not pro spring trap breaking into my house survivor player. Again, Whoa, that Michael. scares me every time I hate that line. I hate that line because I feel like I'm dead. We gotta we gotta distill those phobias. Okay, I'm looking around. I see nothing here. No top hat. Nothing like that. I don't know what you want. You're not telling me. Can I break the game? Because if I'm up here, how's he gonna get me? Let me just see. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sleeping. What are you gonna do? Flabbergast. Oh, he's on the bed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Freddy's hat. Boing. I'll take what? What kind of Stop making sound effects. It just, it makes the experience bad. Oh, what? Am I just seeing these now? Okay, there's two. Did it again, Michael. Oh, oh, did it again. Keep doing it. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. So, is it yours? You want the mic? Oh my gosh. Okay. Why did you reach for me like that? Don't ever do that again. Don't ever do that again. Okay, I found the, uh, the top hat for Freddy as well. There you go, sir. There's two. Is he on me? I think he might be on me. Good evening. Whoa, okay, yep, yeah, cool. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's... Run him round. He's gonna cut. He's definitely gonna try and cut me up. I know what this dude's like. I don't think closing doors also makes uh, a lick of difference. So we're just gonna pretend that. Uh, yeah, that that didn't help. Foxy's hook. So we only need two more, right? There you go. There's uh, there's that one. Oh, he's right, literally right behind me, guys. He's staring at guitar, guitar. Yep, yeah, there's four. Hey, Bonnie, here you go, man. Here you go, bud. We need one more thing. We just need the cupcake, and we're out of here. And he knows that. That's why he's starting to get a bit more aggressive on me. We see that. We see the strats. He ain't happy that we're succeeding. He's not happy. Where would the cupcake be? Where could the cupcake be? Downstairs, maybe? I feel like that would be uh, kind of mean, which is what the game wants to wants to do, really. Doesn't want to be too easy. It's one thing. I think it's one last thing and we're done here. We are out. Okay, here we go. Downstairs. I don't know if he's down here, guys. It's, it's so hard to know. Everything sounds, like, so similar. I think he's picked up the pace. Maybe he's seen me. Look, maybe he's got a waft of uh, me being down here. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. 
Oh, there, yep, yep. Okay, okay. Thought it was gonna be right there. Why don't we call the police by this point, man? We have enough evidence. We have uh, a man who's dead in a suit running around my house trying to kill me. All of that sounds like a, a great idea to call the cops and, you know, report this because it's, it's weird. Is he on me still? I think he gave up. Yeah, he gave up. Okay. Just a cupcake, man. Just a cupcake. Where could it be? The only item we need. Let me just actually check around Chica's room. Maybe it'll be in there somehow. I don't know. Ooh, got it. Yep. Let's go. He's, he's on me. Which way are we going, sir? Which way are we going? He's thinking about it. He doesn't know the strat. He can't decide. He can't decide how he gets us. He gives up. He gives up. He knows that we're going to flank him. Okay, run past him. Let's try and bounce away from him and we give Chica back what she needs. Are we done here? There you go, Matt. Michael. Michael, you can't leave. What? what? What's going on? My screen is... Um... I woke up. I can leave. It was a dream. Now that makes a whole lot of sense. Those bad memories filled about our fu- Whoa. You, you, I killed the nightmare. Look at this dude's face. Look at that. Look at that. He's, he's going- ah, ah, You killed the nightmare. How did you kill the nightmare? It was impossible. That was just like fun. I don't know why, man. A very simple game idea. It worked. Like that. That's, that's kind of what a game like this needs to do. I enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys did too. But let's go ahead and see what the next game is. The second game on our list is gonna be Hypno's Lullaby. I've always had a thing for like Hypno as a character and the creepypasta surrounding like the, the Pokemon stuff. I always found them really fun. Let's go ahead and play this thing. Apparently it's only a short experience, but it should be enough for us to, uh, whoa, we really just zip back out. Should be enough for us to have some fun. So we pull up in the car. Okay, we leave the engine running and we block ourselves in. But like, these are a lot of things that uh, we really shouldn't have done. Oh man, where could he be at? Press ends to continue. What did I say? Press ends to continue. Am I a video game character or something? But he's having like a meta moment, like a fourth wall breaking moment. Pressing end to continue. It's really dark up here. I might need some light. Yep, there's our light. There's our light. Look at this 2D sprite in a 3D world with 3D environments. This this puts a spin on like, you know, Super Mario 64, how we're the 3D thing, the trees are 2D. Now it's reversed. Now it is completely reversed up. So what are we here for? Maybe in this universe, you know, the Pokemon industry is booming. Someone's uh, put out like a wanted. Catch me a Hypno and I will pay you top dollar. I'll give you a Master Ball. I'll give you a couple of Great Balls too. How about that? Yeah, we, we get this done. We do this thing because uh, we want the money. Oh, wait, what's this? What is this? Disturbing reports emerge of vanished children in the ominous forest, where an eerie, unidentifiable melody haunts the shadowy depths. Heartbroken families grapple with the harrowing disappearance of their little ones, fearing an enigmatic creature more sinister than any Pokemon. Witnesses whisper about a looming, spectral figure, cloaked in sinister yellow, trailed by the children moving with a natural trance-like motion, seemingly entranced. Stay tuned for further developments. What malevolent Pokemon lurks in the darkness? We're here to find out. I think I might be a little hypno, and I think he's gonna have one of those toys, like, you know, look into my, uh, pendulum thing. Now I have- OH MY GOSH! Bro, I, I got so scared, I just looked at the floor. Which way did I come from? What the heck was that? That looked kinda sick, though! Like, that actually looked really cool. Oh, where are we? What is this, like an abandoned Pokemon facility? Oh my- Hey! Oh, it's you. I see you've come here to search for your son. Yes, I've spotted him. He ventured into the forest on the right. I also heard some distant singing along that path. It was quite eerie. I'll let you continue on your way now. It's a good thing you have that flashlight with you. Bad things happen, or they can happen in the dark. I'm not trying to scare you, even though I definitely do look very scary. Hey, shopkeeper, are you floating? You have mastered the, the art of levitational power, and you have no face. So that's uh, abnormal, but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Look at this, Pokemon themed colors. This is the back area. What even is this? We got the trash cans. They got bodies. Oh my gosh, this is what? <laughs> I got so scared. My voice was like, nah, we're 12 for a second again. Now we're 29, okay. And we're back. Whoa, whoa, is she not dead? I'll kill you right now. Shut up, man. You're supposed to be dead. Come on in this law. Hypno is clever and charismatic. He's able to manipulate children into trusting him and murders them mercilessly after kidnapping them and revealing his true goals. However, Hypno could easily be captured, imprisoned, or killed by many other Pokemon if his pendulum was taken away, releasing the children and other Pokemon from his control. This earns him a 7.7 .7 on the danger scale. You know, if Pokemon was canon in the FNAF universe, William Afton would be throffing at the mouth to get his hands on a Hypno. Lures children away like... Okay, let's check back this way here. Oh lord, ain't looking good. I'm glad we got the torch though. The guy said uh, bad things happen in the dark. I mean, nope, don't think about it. Playground, look at this thing. Should be playing here. Whoa! 
What the heck? Lifeless bodies emerge in his wake, brought forth by the eerie melody of his lullaby. He is no mere Pokemon. He is a ravenous, monstrous entity lurking within the abyss. I've placed a warning sign by the Forsaken Path, a grim testament to the inescapable fate that awaits those who venture forth. If I were in your shoes, I'd abandon all hope of finding your child and flee this cursed place. Your very existence hangs in the balance. Do you truly cherish life, or shall you depart and pursue the purpose more meaningful than this futile quest? What are you talking about, sir? Why are you trying to discourage me from finding my child? I love my child. We had great memories before he was kidnapped, and I want to find him. That's why I'm here. I'm staying true to myself. So, wait, if we go this way, are we not just going to go back to the start again, though? Where did he go? Is it this way? Look, it all kind of leaves around. We can't dip into the forest like that. We are bounded off, guys. We can't go ahead and uh, stray too much. So, where are we going? I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I'm starting to think that we do go back after uh, seeing the small little park area. Maybe that's it. Maybe now we go back and something might be changed. We saw him run the opposite way, though. Uh, do we go back? Like, do we, uh... Go back the same way we came through. Was there something I missed? That's the way we came from. Is it? I don't know. It's like glistening in the dark. You know, I want to see that now. What is this? What on earth is this bull crap? Okay, that's my car running away. By the way, I'm definitely wasting all the fuel in that. So we're really smart. Was this here before? This side? I don't remember this. Wait, wait this is new, right? This is, not the, uh, this is not the way I remember. There's a note down here. Is this what we've read? No, no, this is new. My thoughts are in disarray, a haunting melody still echoing relentlessly within my mind. The lullaby sinister grasp titans, demanding his presence, beckoning him to seek me out. Fear no longer curses through my veins. It has abandoned me entirely. I must navigate the darkness, find that ominous cavern where he patiently awaits my arrival. In this eerie realm, isolation is no longer my companion. I have been transformed, merged with something beyond myself, a creature of the shadows. I'm gonna say one thing, the writing in this game is really cool. Like, the these are really like in-depth writing stuff. It gets me in this. Okay, I'll stop uh, stroking the writer's ego, even though it should be. That was very good. Am I? Am I going back? I think I'm running back the wrong way. But no, I can't be. I don't recognize this rocky structure. Who the freak was that man? That has nothing to do with Hypno's lullaby. I'm just gonna ignore that. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <gasps> what was that? Whoa! Hey, sir! Oh, I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, I can't. I cannot run him. I should have turned back, man. I should. I should have done this exact second option here, and I didn't. And that was my fate. Yeah, I searched up if there was an alternate ending, and there actually isn't. So the ending for this game is the bad ending. We shouldn't have gone and, uh, I guess, tried to find our child. That shopkeeper really did have the best advice for us. And he was levitating, messing with dark forces. Well, uh, instead of attempting again, I think I'm going to do the whole running away thing. Let's go game number three. This last game is called Mr. Lupin or Lupin. I don't know. Maybe we're going to learn his name as we play this game. Oh, no. Mr. Barley. Come back! Press E to go on. Chase Mr. Ball. I got you. Let's go for it. I don't know what this game is, guys, but it, it looked kind of sick. I, I gotta see what this is. There you are, Mr. Bally. Susie? Uh, what? Hello? Uh, who, who is there? They say nothing. Follow the voice. Where's the option to take Mr. Bally and go home? There ain't none. We followed the voice. Okay, listen. Young child, you have made a bad decision. Susie! You are finally here! Come closer! We can only walk forward. We can only do the bad decision. Closer. Still going. Just one more step, Susie. And you already know Susie. She wants to see what's in there. Who, who are you? Ah, where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mr. Lupin. And you, my dear, you can call me your new friend. <laughs> Why do you know my name? Are you in there? Oh, Susie, I know many things, but first, won't you do me a favor? Please, tear the wrapping paper so I can see your wonderful face. We can only unwrap it, guys. We can only do bad decisions, as said before. Sure. I regret this. Ah, much better, my dear. Now I can see you clearly. You're a true gem. I noticed the scent of cheese. It is my favorite, and I'm ever so hungry. Yeah, I haven't washed, that's why. Let's continue. It's a cheese? Oh, I don't have any cheese with me, Mr. Lupin. But I smell cheese all around this alley. Could you do me a kind favor and collect some for me? I promise I'll be forever grateful. Let's look for cheese. Bro, what is this game? I can look around by moving the cursor and it... Dude, I'm, I'm literally finding cheese. I got cheese. I think I ate that myself. Uh, Mr. Lupin, I, I ate the cheese. Sorry. Wait, what's going on? More cheese. We are just... We are roaming around this alleyway. 
Oh, I shouldn't touch that. That's a good call, Susie. You may be smarter than me. Take those two. Go back. But can we not get the extra cheese? Here's some cheese for you, Mr. Lupin. I hope you like it. Oh, how delightful. You are true friend, Susie. Are you sure about that? Press E to change or or your throat. Wait, what, what's going on? We got to throw the cheese in. Let's go. And then we want to line up. Back. Straight in the box. I, I hear teeth. Hold up. Let's try that one more time. He's catching it in the mouth. His mouth is a box, guys. The whole of this surface of the box is just a mouth. You happy, sir? I fed him five pieces of cheese. Thank you for this delicious treat. You're welcome, Mr. Lupin. It's not every day I meet someone like you. And it's not every day I meet someone as kind as you, Susie. But do you think you could find a bit more cheese for me? It's my absolute favorite, and I promise I'll cherish it. What, this game is extremely bizarre so far, but I'm kind of all for it. Let's get looking for cheese, right? Uh, cheese? I find cheese. Oh, no. What is that? That looks like a tent set up out of cheese. But I do need that, so we'll look there. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Friendly demons. We, we love friendly demons, right, guys? We love friendly demons. Interesting little game. Very interesting little game. Do we got to crank this? No. Why did we open this? Wait, hold up. What did we do that for? Oh. Aha. Now we turn this, the little handle. Oh, isn't that cute? Is, is that me and that demon guy who just gave me cheese? Because, uh, first of all, we made a good first impression with him. Kind of liked him. And that's not... Whoa. What the freak? It's from the same dude who made the, the dog thing. Disco, disco, woo! What the, what the freak am I playing, dude? Yeah, this is a great end, all right, guys? Hey, what a pie. Like, he's he's so, he's having such a good time. He doesn't want to look at anyone. He's throwing down in the corner. This is uh, truly something, guys. This is truly, truly something. Definitely. I'm going to back out of the game now. Okay, we're back here again. So let's not look behind us. I guess the dog was throwing back. Uh, it's a pretty good banger, to be fair, coming from this cell. It's a little by machine. Whoever made that, you did a good job. More cheese. Oh, we missed the hand. What? Who is that dude helping us? Mr. Lupin, I found more cheese for you. I hope you like it. Oh, Susie, you've truly outdone yourself. You're such a wonderful friend. And I've still never seen your face unless the box is his face. Like, collectively, this is him. Here's a box. Yeah, I'm going to go try uh, all the cheese ending. Like, 100% cheese root. Let's see if we can get that one. Uh, there you go. We got more. Whoa, that's uh, that's quite fast, Mr. Lupin. But look, we got the skills to play the bills, man. This cheese is simply irresistible. But you see, I'm still ever so hungry. Is there any chance you could find just a little more cheese for me, my dear? More cheese, Mr. Lupin? I should go home now. It's late. Oh, come on, Susie. Just a little bit more. Please don't disappoint me. We can have a choice here. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Let's, uh, let's, okay, let's go home this time. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Okay, but promise me you'll come back tomorrow. I promise. Mr. Lupin is such a nice... Yo, why is Mr. Lupin, like, the best guy ever? Like, you made it home safely and decided to pay Mr. Lupin. There is nothing bad about this game. This is pure wholesome. This is crazy. Okay, this time we're gonna feed Mr. Lupin even more. All right, Mr. Lupin, I'll try and find more cheese for you. You've been nice to me, and friends help each other, right? But please promise me that this is the last time, okay? I promise. Okay, just a little more. I want to see Mr. Lupin. What? Who is this dude? Right, like, he seems like such a swell... First it balloon. I'll take that. Hey, uh, Mr. Lupin, why does that have a heartbeat? I shouldn't touch that. What about if we touch the other bit? No? Okay, all right. Bop. Uh, bop. Bop. We trying, what are we trying to do here? I got the cheese. With this? Hold on, hold on. Can I? I can't. Wait, we're going to pop the balloon, but it was for me. But there was cheese inside of it. I could not. I had to do that. Okay, so we're going to go here. I've got something for you. Wait, what happened to you? Nothing, Susie. Everything is fine. I just feel very alive right now. It's been a while since I had a good conversation with someone. Okay, Mr. Lupin, where did you get the red LED from? Looks kind of cool, sir. You're not going to kill me in there, are you? Oh, this is going to be quick. Wait, we only got two cheese? Susie, my dear, you've been so kind to me. Just a little more cheese and I promise it'll be worth your while. I've got a surprise for you. Uh, Mr. Lupin, I'm not sure about that. I, I should really go now. Oh, Susie, I understand your hesitation, but please, just a little more. I can't bear to see you go empty-handed. Trust me, it's for the best. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lupin. Wait, what the heck? Look at this. Can't get that one. Can't get that one. This one? That's all we got. That's all I'm risking. Okay, I found something, but that's it. I'm going home after this. Uh, Mr. Lupin, you don't sound so good. Uh, whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. We got to get it in. Are you- Ah, Mr. Lupin, I thought you wanted the cheese. What's going on? You're, like, defending off against it. Mr. Lupin, come on right now. But he says he wants the cheese. Deep down, he does not want the cheese. That was in, right? Yes, we got it. Mr. Lupin? Are you okay? That's all I found. I'm sorry. Well, I'll go home now. Yeah, I thought he said that we'd get something. Bye. Oh! Just a little bit more, Susie.
I don't want to, Mr. Lupin. Ow! Ow! Oh, we really go like this now. We realize this dude is strong. Oh, this is uh, this is actually kind of a weird ending. Okay, we're, we're now too scared to go home. Perfect. There you go, second piece of cheese. We want to get in the middle again. And wait for it. Let's go now. Okay, that was trashy. Like there. It's it, This is so hard to judge. It, it's so difficult. Like, uh, you kind of got to go like now. Oh, that went in. All right, cool. Mr. Lupin, please, please tell me I go. I'm scared now. Hmm, how can I forget this taste? I think you are ready now, Susie. Are you ready to see the surprise? Uh, let's help Mr. Lupin. No need to be shy now. Just follow me. The box has legs, guy. Where are we going, sir? You want this? Delicious! What? Mr. Lupin, where are we right now? What is this? Yum, yum! Mr. Lupin, I don't think I should be feeding you right now. You don't seem friendly. Yes, I can feel it! What can you feel? Is he full? Mr. Lupin, are you there? No, we stay. We stay. Susie! Whoa, I knew you were a true friend! Dude, what the freak is going on? It's like the game, it, it like poses itself as a horror, but then it's always a good ending. Like for <laughs> no matter what you do, it's always good. Okay, we're gonna run away this time when he asks if we want to see the surprise. I'm sorry. I thought you were a true friend. Just run already. Yes, Susie, you're doing the right thing. Oh my gosh. In the silence of the night, Mr. Lupin's revenge was swift and brutal. Uh, that, that's not good. That is not the ending I wanted. What the f- Okay, now we're gonna flee at the very last point here so we run. Is it the same ending as before? It's not- Whoa! Hang on, this game just got like, full 3D. We ran. Were we in there? Like, were we down in the, uh, the sewers or something? Where is my home? Every home looks, like, identical. Mr. Lupin! Please don't kill me. I'm just trying to get home. That's all. That's all it is, sir. Just wanna get home. Just wanna cuddle up in my bed and sleep soundly after filling up your belly. You see, we can both have a good ending here, right? We can both have a good ending- Oh my gosh! We should've just stayed, bro. Had if we stayed, we'd have been friends forever. But by running, we uh we disappointed Mr. Lupin to the extent of him wishing to take us out. There you go. All right, then, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of 3 Games. This was actually a great roster. I had a lot of fun playing all of these. Very different, every single one of them. This is how you do a 3 Random Games episode right. If you guys want to play any of these games for yourself, you can check the link down below. But that's going to be it for this video, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like, create, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, if you did enjoy. Yeah, and if I've learned anything, if a box asks me to feed it cheese, just uh, make sure if you start, go through to the very end. Thank you.